birthday, Grandad. I hope you have a lovely birthday. Bye. Hi Nigel, um, just a short message to wish you a very happy birthday uh, from here, your friends in Spain, uh, Reg and Jan, who were besties with you, would have loved to raise a glass and, and uh, have a toast uh, for another Mr. Wallington birthday, so um, have a great day. Um, I still have fond memories of uh, you in Spain and I re always remember as a kid when you, Reg and I went up to Sierra Nevada uh, to a little ski restaurant and uh, taking my attention away looking at the skiers you uh, nicked my meatballs that day and uh, I've been traumatised ever since but you're, you're a great family friend, uh, we love you to bits Nigel, have a fantastic day and happy birthday, all the best. Hi Nigel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, really looking forward to celebrating with you soon and Theo says happy birthday as well. Lots of love. Bye. Well I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and knowing how you hate birthdays and being the centre of attention I'll try and keep it short but I did just want to say that it, we know it's been a very difficult few years since Covid and all the problems and hospital stuff but I'm not turning this into a medical report but I just want to say what a fantastic life we've had together the wonderful family the very best we could ever wish for and all our wonderful holidays um, have been a big part of our lives together um, South Africa, the adventure in Kenya, Cuba, America, Florida, Disney, Canada, all the cruises, oh, what else? All the skiing, don't let's forget the skiing, with me always at the back, and you always at the front being the fastest. So anyway, happy birthday, and let's start making some more memories, and um, well, sending you all my love as always, very happy birthday. Hi Nigel. Just wanted to wish you a very happy big birthday. We needn't mention the number and hope it's a celebration. Our friendship goes back to Keston school days um, when um, the kids, when we had lots of fun with the kids, including going skiing, uh, which was a big adventure for us. Um, in later years, you know, we kept keen on walking as of you, and um, we had those lovely holidays um, with Gay and Alan. Um, going in the Alps. In the Alps, yeah, going to Switzerland. So. Where, where I enjoyed the altitude. <laughs> mm. and, uh, and we kept walking, didn't we? We did the Thames Path, which really is something that we'll never forget. I know we did it over about a year, but... Um, uh, we got a medal at the end, thanks to Lynn, and, uh, and have, keep it to this day. But anyway, um, we want to just wish you a lovely day. Hope you have a great celebration with the family. And uh, hopefully we'll yes. see you soon to have one of our favourite carriers. Okay, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday mm. to Grandad. Happy birthday, Grandad. Uh, happy birthday, Grandad. Hope you have a lovely birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Hi 
Good morning, Nigel. A little bird tells me this is a very auspicious day for you. Eighty years old. Oh, there, Theo, you must be the oldest man in Keston, if not Bromley. I've been thinking about this and I reckon that you and I have been around each other for over 40 of those years. And during that time we've, we've drank, we've worked, we've travelled, we've golfed, skied, ran, walked, argued, made up, had mainly good times with a couple of downsides. And you know what? That's the definition of a life well lived. So well done you. You're a lucky man. You've had a great career. You've travelled extensively. And you've got a wide circle of good friends, like me, that let you win at the golf just to make you think you're still invis invincible. Aye. If health is wealth, you're a millionaire even although you've had a very rough time the last couple of years. You are blessed with a lovely family and I just wanted to say at the end of it all, Spain has been a big part of your life. I wanted to wish you a very big Feliz Cumpleaños, amigo. Viva España. Have a great day, amigo. Hello Nigel, Anthony here. Um, I'm speaking to you whilst I'm on holiday in Paros, Greece in the morning just after breakfast. Just wanted to wish you a very happy upcoming special birthday. I've worked out that I've known you over 40 years, um, around sort of 1980 to about 1990. And probably for me that 10 years was the most happiest and memorable decade of my working career to be honest and I guess it was people like you who sort of very much steered the way for me and I always admired you in my days at ILG. I thought you and Mike were without doubt for me the most honest and had the highest integrity of the directors and I really enjoyed our time that we spent at Bromley and more importantly many of those ILG overseas conferences that even now I still talk about with people that I've worked with during that period. They were really happy days for me and I'm also really pleased that we've remained in contact. For me, building those relationships all those years ago are very meaningful. Yes, I'm a bit of a nostalgic individual, but the people that meant something to me, I never really wish to sever any contact or relationship or communication. And I think you're a great guy, what can I say? You're a fabulous father, grandfather, married the lovely, lovely Lynn. I guess you're still punching above your weight a little bit. Two beautiful children, lovely grandchildren. And you've had a difficult two, three years, but God willing, everything will be okay. And just always remember the good times and family. It's so important to everyone. So I always hope we remain in contact. Have a fabulous period coming up with your special celebrations with your beautiful family. And always, always remember you're a very good person huge amount of integrity, very honest, no BS, which I think we don't like either. And I think you're a lovely guy and a very special person in my life and the career that I've had to date. So let's remain in contact and send you big love from Greece. Send my love to Lynn and the children and enjoy your special day coming up. God bless. Bye. Hi Nigel, happy birthday. I know you don't want to fuss, but this is a special birthday. And so it's a really great opportunity to reminisce about the old days. We've known each other for about 46 years, which is amazing. Um, and in that time, we've been colleagues at work and also um, obviously French friend, friends. And uh, first in, we met as Tener in Tenerife as reps 
and then we worked in Bromley, in Tucson and in Lan at Lancaster. Hello Dad, a very happy birthday. Um, all I can say is, is thank you, a huge thank you for bringing Katie and I up to be the wonderful specimens of children that we are. Um, I, I know the struggle now and uh, I can appreciate I particularly wasn't particularly easy. So well done uh, and genuinely I'm, I'm truly grateful. Amazing holidays, amazing times. You've always backed me quietly and confidently and um, you know I, I genuinely am grateful for what you've given me in terms of, of my life. You've definitely inspired me in terms of your entrepreneurial journey, uh, the fire uh, uh, susceptible bars in Spain all the way through to significant sizable travel television businesses. That was extremely inspiring for me as I was as I was growing up. So uh, thank you. We don't say it enough, but uh, I do love you very much. And uh, thank you for being my old man. Hi Nigel, welcome to the Octogenarians Club. We had some great times together in the early days in Spain in the late swinging 60s, didn't we? You, Math, me, Reg, Jan, Annabelle and various other sundry characters that were around at the time. I also fondly recall you, Math and myself probably being the unhippest hippies in San Francisco in 67 in the summer of love. Since you left Spain, our paths have diverged quite a lot. But it's comforting that those of us who were, shall we say, like-minded, have kept in touch over so many years. You must admit that you've lived a pretty charmed and enviable life. And I know that, I know, believe me, that sometimes old age can be a pain in the butt. Just remember and appreciate that you have so many good things to remember and you have a lovely family around you now to celebrate your birthday. Have a great day and keep on traveling, Nigel. Lots of love, Dinah. Hello Nigel, Dennis here wishing you a very happy birthday on your 80th and that uh, we look forward to seeing you more in, in the future with the rugby and uh, when we think back at the times that we spent with the skiing which I wasn't that very proficient with but to other, other trips that we did into London especially which I enjoyed taking you to and uh, showing all the places so yeah we look forward to seeing more of you, take care. Happy birthday to the best father-in-law I could have hoped for. Thank you for always being there for us, like a backup crew, picking up Ella and Olivia, helping um, when we're away, checking the house for us, and just generally always being there for us always. Some of my fondest memories of are of all of the books that you read to Ella and Olivia when they were young. I hope you have a brilliant day and thank you for being you. And I hope you get to celebrate today how great you are. Hello Nigel, just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I know you're not looking forward to it. And I know you've had a tough time over the last few years, but I don't want to dwell on that. I want to look back on the fun times we've had. The holidays, the parties, the dinners, the lunches, the afternoon teas, the walks. We have had so much fun over the years. And I want to remember a couple of occasions on, on two of our holidays, which are quite memorable. The first was about 20 years ago when we went to the Isle of Wight. We're going out for a walk and we come to this quite steep hill. Costi and Lynn are walking up quite sedately, but you and me, whoa, we start to walk faster and faster, each pretending we're not trying to get to the top first until it became very obvious. Second occasion I'm remembering very fondly is when we went on that amazing trip to Kenya. And when we arrived at this eco-tented village, miles from anywhere in the middle of the Masai Mara, 
We both looked at it and said, we can't stay here, until we realised there was no other choice. So Nigel, we have had enormous fun on everything we've done, and we will still have fun, but maybe not climbing steep hills, and have a very happy day. Hi Nigel, it's us wishing you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Not done this before like this, so you'll have to excuse any mistakes. But uh, yeah, it was just obviously we've had some wonderful holidays with you in the past and we're looking forward to some equally wonderful holidays with you both in the future. And we've got lovely memories of Torremolinos and, and Malaga and can't wait to get back there again and get that wine out. <laughs> and maybe meet up in London soon. Yeah, and even sooner meet up in London. Yeah, yeah that, that'd that, be fantastic. Really looking forward to that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just hope you have a, 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 a wonderful birthday and uh, I'm glad you're sharing it with your with your children and you've got three lovely grandchildren to to, to share it with as well and to celebrate so uh, yeah I hope you have just a, a totally wonderful day <laughs> all right love to all of you Fantastic. I'll pass you over to the Fantastic. old man now <laughs> uh, Nigel, yeah yeah as a fellow fan of Spain I'd just like to say bonjourno <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to meeting up again in London. That'd be fantastic. And um, to to rekindle some of our famous debates. And uh, I've always enjoyed those. We've always had a good old chin wag. We've never fallen out because it doesn't make sense to fall out. <laughs> and it's, it's great. We have intelligent conversations. Well, as much as you can with an airhead like me. But uh, it's always good fun. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you again. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. love to you and your family. Yeah, very, very happy birthday, Nigel. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, hello, Mr. Nigel Wallington. A little bird told me that you're about to celebrate a very special birthday, although I can't quite believe it myself. And I wanted to send you a personal birthday message to wish you a very happy birthday. I remember my inter-son days with such fondness and uh, getting to know you and Lynn was a big part of that and a massive part of my career. I still to this day believe that I owe all of my career and joy that I've had in my travel industry career down to that incredible time of working in Mallorca and just enjoying such so many happy memories and working in Austria too. So I wanted just to wish you a, a really special birthday. Um, I do hope that you have a great day. Um, I'd love to catch up at some stage because it has been a very long time. I think the last time we met was at the O2 when Mylin and I were there seeing Viva La Diva uh, with you and Lynn. So sending lots of love. I do hope that you're okay. And uh, thank you again for so many wonderful memories. By the way, if you don't recognize me, it's Joe Jamoska. Take care, lots of love, bye. The weather was sunny and soon the peas started to feel a bit funny. Nigel Wallington, a very, very happy birthday, my friend. Happy 80th birthday, in fact, and what a milestone. I'm sure you don't look a day over 79, but I do hope you have the most fantastic day. And I'm sure as many of your friends have done and alluded to those fond memories and happy times they've had with you, I thought I'd just mention about the times we've spent over in Keston and certainly those times on the golf courses with your erratic son but they really have shaped you know uh, a lot of our friendship and as I said I just wanted to say a very happy birthday 
I hope you have the most wonderful day and you are spoilt, totally rotten by the whole family. I hope all is well and I really hope that we can catch up soon. Look after yourself and have a great day. Much love. Hola, señor Miguel. Es, so, lo siento, Mr. Nigel. ¿Qué tal? You and I are true old friends, grumpy to be in nature, and uh, we dislike so many things, and we agree on that. Whether it's politics, Boris Johnson, Brexit, taxes, uh, and above all, Bigginil Airport. Um, so that is our cause in life, uh, I would call it, it's our raison d'etre. Anyway, what do you like? You like walking, you like walking a lot. You joined Probus for walks. In fact, you did a safari in East Anglia, a couple of days safari led by you, which was very nice. But lately you're not waking, walking as much as before. Neither am I, to be honest. Age has uh, something to do with it. So what does make you happy? I've realized over the years that we've been on holidays together and uh, you were always happy when we were on holiday, whether it was in Kenya on safari or on the beautiful lakes in Italy or on a cruising around the Norwegian fjords, you were always happy. So my remedy for you is sell the house and spend the rest of your life traveling around from holiday to holiday with hotels and cruises. And who cares about the inheritance? You will be spending it and enjoy it. Um, but one final thing, Nigel, don't mention you're 80 until I get there myself because I don't have to be working with older friends. Happy birthday. Nigel, my dear friend, I'm so delighted to have the, the opportunity to take some part in this really special event. And so a very happy birthday from myself and from my family, who said love and warmest wishes to you all. Remember when you were called Nacho, because many people couldn't pronounce Nigel. Well, Nacho. Uh, you and I have so many great memories together that are just too numerous to mention. I have lunch occasionally with Tony Gibert and some hoteliers when we enjoy chatting about old times. Now you can start to make plans for the next visit to Mallorca. We will be so happy to see you and Lynn. And thank Jamie so much for his invitation to take part in this huge event that we know you will enjoy thoroughly. Marjorie sends hugs and kisses to you and Lynn, to Jamie, Katie, spouses, and the next generation of the Wallington dynasty. Un gran abrazo, amigo mío.